So then the next one of the VOMs is to look at the vestibular ocular reflex. So the vestibular ocular reflex happens at speed and it's the ability to keep our eyes still with our head moving. So to make sure that we are getting the vestibular ocular reflex, we set a metronome, set it at 180 beats and what we're going to do is get you, I'm going to hold this out in front, I want you to keep your eyes focused on it and turn your head side to side with your eyes focused on it and if you can turn your head in time with the metronome. And again, you would ask for any increase in headaches, any change to dizziness, nausea, yeah, so dizziness or fogginess. dizziness would be about 2 out of 10. Okay. Yeah. And then you would repeat that, but getting you to nod your head this time. And again, you would score the dizziness. Yeah, now, I don't know about you, I don't think that, <coughs> excuse me, Donna was nodding her head as fast as that metronome was going, and I don't blame her either. Slightly behind the metronome. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, if someone doesn't nod in time with the metronome, is that a problem? Again, it depends. If they're close, then you're close to getting into vestibular ocular reflex. Yes. The issue is if they're going too slowly, yes. is it because they don't want to, because they know it triggers symptoms and they're inhibiting? And again, if you know, the cervical ocular reflex is at a slower speed, so you could be looking at disorder dysfunction of the cervical ocular reflex rather than the vestibular ocular yeah. reflex. So if they can't do that comfortably, there is another test that we could look into as more of a vestibular test right. to assess vestibular, okay. um, which is passive, where the therapist would do a quick head impulse test, right. which they don't control the speed of the movements, the therapist does.